Hello and welcome to the Zen Project hands-on video series. Today we're going to talk about the transition from XM Toolkit to XL. Uh, we're going to answer the question first off, you know, why are we doing this? Why are we moving from XM to XL? Why are we changing toolkits? Uh, what do we need to get there? How is this going to change the things that you do? And when does this become a mandatory changeover? Plus, we'll have a couple of minutes just uh, to demonstrate the, uh, the difference or, or the lack of difference in a lot of ways between XM and XL. So the first question, of course, is, you know, why XL? Uh, XM has been here for, for 11 plus years. It's, it's still hanging on. And uh, it's worked admirably, but it was written in Python, and it has a history of locking problems under certain circumstances. Uh, it's also becoming kind of crufty. It's uh, hard to fix bugs, and new features are really tricky to add at this point. Uh, it also relies on having the Zendi daemon, uh, which maintains state. And by the state, I mean things like, you know, is the VM up? Is the VM down? Is it does it exist? All these various things that are held in a daemon, and not something closer to the vest. So the architecturally. Uh, it's been felt that it's a little on the old side, plus from a functional standpoint, it's getting harder and harder to maintain. Now, the new XL toolkit is quicker, cleaner, it's written in C, it gets rid of the historic locking problems that we had with XM. It's a lot simpler to maintain, a lot simpler to expand and to add new features to. The whole Zen D Demon concept is gone, and in its place, <clears throat> we are now relying on a library called libzen Light. As a result, the whole architecture is much, much cleaner. And there is no need for a daemon to maintain state. That's, that's just uh, dealt with uh, at, the, uh, at the library level. So how do you get there? Well, the short answer is start using XL commands instead of XM commands. The syntax is the same. Um, you change change uh, your command files if you have command files to start <coughs> wherever it says XM you uh, substitute XL the target is to have something that is backwards compatible and there's a few notable exceptions to that but uh, but the idea is that we didn't want to go around and change syntax the syntax will work if it's if it's still something we support it's still a command that is supported and and almost all of them are um, the uh, the syntax will be exactly the same as it was. Now, from a practical standpoint, if you are using a version of Zen uh, that supports both XM and XL, and that would be from uh, Zen Project 4.1 release through 4.4, you have the option of using either one um, inside each of those releases. Uh, if you're going to start using XL, you must disable the Zend daemon. Now, if the Zend daemon is working, you can only use XM. XL will refuse to work. If the Zend daemon is not working, you can only use XL. You cannot use XM and XL simultaneously by design because the theory behind them is different, and so there's no way to get them both to work simultaneously without just, you know, total nonsense going on. So, um, so it's one or the other. Now, if you're using libvirt, you need to make sure that you're using a current version of libvirt which can talk to libzen light. Um, and most of the current versions are really good about that, but if you're using some old version of libvirt on your install, you may need to upgrade libvirt. Um, that's all you really need to do, just to make sure the capability is there. Now, how is this going to change the way you deal with the world? Well, if you've been using XM only up until this point, it really doesn't change much at all. You just start using XL and you won't care. But if you were using XM and libvirt together, we need to realize that state won't be maintained across the two different tool sets. So in other words, if you use a libvirt tool to create a VM, you cannot then use XM, or in this case XL, to go in and make adjustments to that VM. Does not work, because uh, XL doesn't know, 
about anything that that libvirt has created and vice versa so if you're working with libvirt stay with libvirt use the libvirt based tools and everything will be just fine but you cannot cross from one tool set to the other for most people this is uh, not a problem at all <coughs> now we, we mentioned that there are some things that are not supported anymore directly well there's a few things here one is that we used to allow for arbitrary Python code to be inserted in the configuration files. Um, very powerful, but number one, we're not using Python anymore. And number two, you can, as one might imagine, when you can insert arbitrary code into a configuration, uh, debugging can get uh, awfully tricky at times. So we're just doing away with the whole thing. Uh, it really didn't make sense to continue. The other thing is that the notion of a managed domain is no longer supported in the Excel toolkit. So what does that mean? If you uh, Right now in Excel, you create a VM and it starts. In, uh, in managed domain concept in XM, you had the option of either just creating the domain and having it start, or you could create the domain and just have it sit there and then come along with the VM start command and actually have it start executing and so forth. We don't have that concept anymore in Excel. If what you're doing requires a managed domain, and I don't think this will apply to very many people, Libvirt and Zappy both, uh, both are still uh, working with managed domains. So those are possibilities for you. Now, another change is the uh, W exclamation point notation uh, to share disks across VMs. Um, you know, that is, is no longer supported. Um, and you can look inside the wiki to find out the appropriate syntax to use uh, uh, now inside Excel. Also, Excel does not auto configure the host networking, doesn't do it. Uh, why? Well, XM used to do it, but there have been fragile instances with XM where it doesn't always do the right thing when it does that. So uh, it was decided that XL, you know what, will let you set up your networking. We've got a wiki page on it. It's relatively straightforward. Uh, just go ahead and set up your networking, and that way the toolkit doesn't have to re be responsible, and that way the toolkit can't drag you down. So uh, so we'll just use the wiki and... Uh, and set up host networking. And also, you'll notice that there are new things inside Excel, like the Remus commands. Now, the Remus commands were separate under XM. Remus, if you were not using Remus before, uh, this is the high availability um, uh, capability within Zen Project software. Uh, if you're working with the cloud, you're probably not using Remus. If you're using something that more traditional and you need something that's uh, that provides traditional high availability, Remus is an option for you. That's now part of the Excel toolkit, as are many new features as they come in. Now, when does this become a mandatory changeover? Well, Excel was introduced with the 4.1 release of Zen Project. With 4.5, XM no longer exists. So if, uh, if, if you're using 4.5 or beyond, you must work in Excel or you must use uh, Libvirt or Zappy. Now, uh, in the interim uh, releases, if you're using 4.1 through 4.4, you can use either XM or Excel. So uh, if, if you're in that state right now and you want to get used to working with Excel, as I said before, disable the ZenD daemon, and you can start using Excel right away without doing any, uh, any sort of upgrade whatsoever. Um, and for most people, the change over to Excel really is painless. I mean, modify existing config for our existing uh, scripts to use the XL instead of XM, but the syntax is the same, and uh, you know it just rolls forward. It's pretty simple. Now let's just spend a moment looking uh, looking at a little bit of hands-on here. And I have two windows here on the left. I've got something that is uh, attached to an old uh, Zen 3 box. 
and I use the old XM info command and we see the expected output and on the right I have a, uh, a new Zen 4 4.2 actually box and I do XL info and I get expected results uh, differences there because of the hardware uh, on the respective boxes etc but you see that the syntax is exactly the same and we can use other you know commands of course XM list we see the expected output over here XL list there you go uh, see that there's some, some very minor differences in terms of cosmetics but it's the same and it gives you the same expected output now as I said uh, this one on the right is running uh, Zen Project 4.2 and uh, 4.2 has the help files for both XM and XL available so even though you're using only one toolkit you can see the help files for two so let me uh, take a look at uh, XM create old favorite and here we see the things that uh, we're all used to with XM if we say XL create dash H now we see basically the same set of options now there's one option on there uh, that was experimental that's uh, been removed but otherwise uh, other than changes in text and so forth you know we're looking at um, we're looking at uh, similarity here and that's the way it's supposed to be that uh, that you don't need to go around making uh, huge changes likewise XM help you know here's the the list of the commands that we're all used to historically XL help gives us pretty much the same list of commands uh, different order because they were organized differently and uh, and some new commands too as you see down here you see Remus is now rolled into Excel as well as other things so this is the sort of change that you should expect really uh, not not difficult sort of work uh, basic and straightforward now if you need more information then look at things like this here on the wiki page the Excel versus Zendi feature comparison this gives you in a nutshell uh, what things are supported in one and in the other uh, this particular version that we're looking at was as of uh, Zen 4.2 release so I expect that's going to be updated soon uh, so that we can see the changes but you see what's going on there and then the second page of interest is uh, this one called migration guide to four to Zen 4.1 plus and if you look at the tool stack upgrade notes uh, there's the information on going from XM to XL and it will look suspiciously similar to uh, the stuff that I covered in the slides at the beginning of this presentation and it will even include things like the uh, links to the networking page and so forth as well as uh, discussion on how you can get hold of the developers if you think there's some sort of problem here but by this point uh, we've had uh, we've had several re releases that are running under XL and things are, seem to be going very, very well. So, uh, I hope this is uh, a benefit to you. And uh, as usual, you know, let us know at zenproject.org if there's anything else we can do. If you see documentation that could be upgraded, likewise, we have document days every month. And we'd like to know, uh, and we'd love to have your assistance to make the documentation even better for the next person. So, I thank you, and hope this has been of some use to you.